Yeah, a good morning, a good morning, happy new week, happy new month, happy new day. In fact, today it's all about new, 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 you know, everything is new, exciting, you know, beautiful, beautiful weather we have out there as well. Yes, welcome to Galaxy Television and again I want to say welcome to the month of July. Today is 1st of July, the second half of the year 2024. I believe you've done a lot for yourself, you've taken care of your health, you've achieved some heights, you've done some beautiful things for yourself. For you to even be alive, you should be grateful to God for it, like my, my, my partner always say. And you know, hmm. There are many parts of this year is going to be so exciting for everyone of us. I can feel it. I feel, yes, it's going to be a beautiful, a beautiful moment. Beautiful experiences are going to come out from the rest part of the year. So I want to say welcome again to the month of July. Yes, this is WhatsApp. Welcome to WhatsApp on Galaxy Television. This is where entertainment has made its abode. You know, this is where we talk entertainment this is where we do everything entertainment this is where we we do a whole lot we give you the best of the best we give you as it is hot yes and this from our overall program be our guest on galaxy television yes again okay, we reach for the stars and we are mm, super 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 excited that we have you here on the show of course on whatsapp we do a whole lot of entertainment gist we do movie reviews like the one we want to do today movie reviews will bring in the best of the best we recommend the best movies that you can watch so we have that we also go for fashion and style where we talk about trendy fashions yeah what people are wearing this as well on tr what's trending what are those things okay maybe you're looking for a particular style we can actually tell you okay this is what you should so sometimes you can actually recommend whom you should meet to give you those beautiful designs that you want and of course we do celebrity gist where we, where we put our eyes into the the lifestyle of some celebrities and what they're saying what's up with them and all that we do train the issues yeah, there are certain things that go on in the society that you may not have a preview to so here on galaxy television on whatsapp we bring those things to your doorstep we give you the best of the best now the icing on the cake is where we bring in a list celebrity guests they will bring the best we bring them they talk about their their lives they talk about their career they talk about the challenges they had they had and how they were able to overcome those challenges and of course we get to know what they are up to so we do a whole lot on whatsapp it's 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 never boring it's never boring you know we what we also want to let you know that we are on the go but that is not for me to say that is for a partner to say but before i introduce him i want to let you know once again that my name is or maybe a dollar yeah that is my name i'm your screen goddess or your sweetheart your pitu pitu as well and of course with me in the studio is my g my guy my friend my partner my pitu pitu my cherry coco my bouncer my bodyguard like he's looking all black this morning i don't even know why we always i don't know what in fact maybe after the show i'm gonna sit him down and let him move that he shouldn't be wearing he shouldn't be rocking this every time what is it i have with me in the studio rally baby i should not be rocking what black as we shouldn't be rocking something you basically copied me like i don't know where this is coming from ah my people you copied me how now like you always ask Do people I say you to wrong? tell you what they feel like i would wear like you always come in one hour before i do so <laughs> They would have given you all the expo they need to might. give you. Like, how far is already at the office? Yes, what's he wearing? Black, black. Oh, thank you so much. From the house, bam, you you, you move the black that you want to wear. Then you're not coming and be telling you us. You can't be eh, serious. We are right matching. Now. You I see what's that. You say you, you can't be matching. We can't be wearing the same outfit. So I don't, meanwhile, now you the copy. Now you the ask people waiting. I wear. So waiting, you know, right? When does they copy? Eh? Assignment. <laughs> <laughs> Lagos, Nigeria, good morning and welcome to the 202 edition 
of what's up on galaxy television and of course um this is where we reach for the stars is obviously for the overall program be our guest now i'll tell you this every day above six feet is a very good day so when you wake up don't feel it tight to do say prayer thank god and say hey um, I get to breathe the same air as a lot of people are this morning for that I'm privileged to do that. It is not easy. Um, a lot of people have died. A lot of people yeah. will die. But God has still said, hey, you know, there's a plan for you. There's always a plan for you. Anyway, this morning we also want to tell you that Galaxy Television is definitely on the go. So yeah. head on to iOS Store or uh, your Play Store, Google Play Store for those who use Android. iOS for the iPhone users. And you can um, watch us on the go, whatever program we have. We still have new upcoming exciting programs okay. for you guys to watch and be a part of. And we always want it to be like that because when you download the app, you alone becomes privy to the kind of stuff you watch on Galaxy Television. And that's um, sweet and good to go. Anyway, we also stream live on Facebook, on X, which you know is Twitter, and of course Instagram. Also, you can hit the subscribe button on YouTube, Galaxy Television Entertainment, and get to watch all those programs. Now, Facebook mainly because um, for programs you've missed, um, for example, if you don't get to watch WhatsApp and you love to follow the program, like a lot of people always say, just like this morning, um, a security guard accosted me and said, hey, I watch you and Omevi on the program. I said, thank you very much. We appreciate those feedbacks. Yes, something like but that. But exactly, that's the anyway, next question I wanted to ask. <laughs> I don't like but this is but this is what we leave for, yeah. and we have to move with the flow. All right, uh, my name is Obi Nakena. You know me as Orali Baby. That's A U R A L W E. You can call me the Vibes Machine. Call me Sugar Daddy of Lagos. You can also call me the Big Size Daddy by saying, um, "What up? Welcome to WhatsApp again." And um, it's been a very fun weekend, or it was a fun weekend for me. I'm still going to continue next weekend. The whole of June was party filled, wow. fun, packed, um, filled with life and energy. I had I had all the weekends in June. I basically partied. I went to Secret Palace. I'm not giving you guys free PR, but I went to Secret Palace on Saturday. Yes, for my friends. Okay, first I was at Salma's Terrace. Um, it's a Lebanese cuisine restaurant on the island. It's a cactus. Yes, that's what I went for. I went for dinner. Z's birthday, my very good friend. And then I now went there for and I left there and went to Secret Palace. People know what happens in Secret Palace. That's why it's secret. You can't say it out. So I went there. Whatever and it happens, was fun. It stays there, right? Yes, a the little cash performed too. And bouncer carried one guy like this and flung him off stage. Well, that's that's something for only my eyes. So <laughs> um yeah, it was it was it was a fun field weekend. How did your weekend go? Yeah, I rested. You did. I actually did. Last weekend wasn't funny at all. Or really last weekend it was too short. I needed an extension of last weekend. But you see this weekend I rested though i actually went out yesterday yes mm. i had fun yesterday i had fun mm. you came you came to office with chinese rice and chicken no not really and you ate it alone i i had i got you, i just want to you, tell you, you that you heard the story you should keep up with some <laughs> nonsense that you are doing you, you but, think i don't know but, the rubbish you are doing yeah, but, but, but yesterday was so was fun for me you know after church my friend came around went out and specified this friend yeah is is a friend or maybe you say your man came around i didn't say my man i said a friend oh, 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 maybe. why are you removing oh, glasses you want yeah, to don't, don't let me be angry on the show <laughs> no, 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 no. does it have to be a man every time i'm warning you <laughs> you need to say who came out to, and no. you cannot be calling me names on this show and i will not know your in and out we, I, you must. Who, who is the person? No, yes, a friend came around. We What's all the went. Uh, we went out. We went to. We went. We went to some nice places and all that. We got some nice. Nice places and where? Orale, yeah, that's show sure right now. It's not about me. No, it's about what's up on Galaxy it's Television. It's all about entertainment I must, and our fans. I must and, know. You know. I must know what you are up to, or maybe yeah. on this show. Who did you go out and where did you go? Did you, you just say I said my own. Yeah. I went. I told you where I went to. Okay. So you need to tell me who. 
you yeah, but you didn't tell it? me who you went with i told you i went with my friends yeah, exactly that was exactly what i did i went friends, with my you friends went to <laughs> <laughs> i went to stefan i went to oh Stephane. my god yeah, that is all we do. We just have, we have fun here, so you should also have fun wherever you are. I heard someone say, "Laugh, we should not laugh." Now you lose, and uh -huh. that is the truth. True. The so truth. don't let anything weigh you down. Give your, give yourself that time, that luxury, and, and enjoy every moment you have. If you have to go out, do it. A lot is happening out there. Depression. People are living in depression. Mm. People are depressed each day. People are committing suicide, and so many things happening. So don't let anything or anyone spoil you, stop you from having an amazing day. Don't let any situation. Just enjoy the moment. Like I always tell my friends, every problem has an expiring date. Oh yeah. Every problem there is an expiration date for every problem. So and don't don't let that moment spoil the whole of your day. On top, waiting job. Alright, we'll go on this quick break. When we come back, we'll bring you in celebrity gist. We get the plenty like Okmo, 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 Okmo today. So just stay with us, we'll be right back. And welcome back. This is Tower Self on Galaxy Television for our over program Be Our Guest. And uh, like I said before the break, we have a whole lot of gist, celebrity, a whole lot. A whole lot but before then i want to say big congratulations to sharon oja yeah in fact that was beautiful that was a that was a beautiful wedding would, would you like to be married like that i you do you know i actually asked myself that question and i don't know well i've always said I that i would love a private wedding but for the kind of human being i am my wedding has to be loud I don't know if I would. But I like a wedding. I loved, I loved what she wore. Yeah. It was, it was made by Vicky James. Did yes, Vicky yes. James? No, Vicky James actually did a great job there. You know, I love her decency. Everything was fine. You know, you obviously know that she's a church girl. And it was nice. Mm. A big congratulations to her. You know, love is a beautiful thing. So if you find one, please enjoy it. Mm. Don't let anyone tell you that. Love. Uh, love is wicked or love is no brick and lace said that you know that one they said it over 70 times in their song <laughs> they, over her they love is wicked love uh, they now shouted it love is wicked <laughs> they they were singing and we were dancing to yeah tum, 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 yeah exactly tum, tum, we're doing tum, body tum, like tum. this and ladies that time it was a um, whining of waist yeah. they did their waist like this See outbreak everywhere. <laughs> they use outbreak finish the job people. Uh, oh, know, hmm. But love is such a beautiful thing. Yes. You know, over the week, you know, after the video, then Sharon Oja, you know, everything was just every love. I was, I was somewhere really yesterday. Air. I think during the course of the week we'll be able to delve um, basically into that. Um, I thought we we're gonna do that today, but we'll skip. I was at um, the homecoming of Ebiade John or the um, Joy Ebiade John. Okay. Now she's the first woman to ride a motorbike, solo motorbike from um, Eastern Africa, that's Kenya, to West Africa, Nigeria. Wow. She rode a bike for three months through the forest, desert. Deserts and the rest. She was yeah. even attacked by a black mamba. Wow. On the way. And she escaped all those things. And of course, you trust. I gave all the wicked PR I needed to. Yesterday, I was so wicked. Amy Ika. I was there at ShopRite, obviously, um, Galaxy Television, to welcome her officially. Now, the uh, Nigerian Institute of Bikers, the Association of Bikers, were there too. So when she got into Lagos, Nigeria, they went to pick her from Uwere. They rode on a bike with different bikes, like over 40 power bikes. Wow. They rode with her through Asaba or uh, Bega, and then they came to ShopRite, an international um, city mall, rather, yeah. um, Ikeja, and it was really beautiful. I was the first to interview her. She came with the bike, she came to where I was, obviously, based on who I be. Then Galaxy Television as well. Um, we had a um, fun reportage yesterday. It was it was really beautiful. I interviewed her first. So all the other TV stations that were there trying to you know, 
Because uh, there's no there's no video you wanted to do yesterday that already like, was not inside. Wow, that's and beautiful. We, we we did that. And yeah, it was of really course. Beautiful. That's why we're galaxy. Yes, that's we, why we're galaxy. We showed uh, a medal yesterday. It was really fun. I was like, I'm taking one for the team. But hey, um, everything that happened yesterday will be brought um, on entertainment yeah. um, sometime this week on WhatsApp. So yeah, we'll, show you, we'll show you. There's one part where I was dancing, Trisha. So you get to see fun parts of me anyway. Or maybe it was resting. I had to do that. I had to go on that errand, but it was fun. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. All right, moving on. Uh, our first story here is my last relationship was in university. That's far as the bad guy talking. Hmm. Uh, so I'll be asking, when did Faz graduate from the university? I think that is one thing we should go and check. Because he said his last relationship uh, was while he was in the university. The parents amounted so much pressure, especially Baba, <laughs> especially his father. Of course, you know who his father is, okay? Falano. Our, our SON, you know? He has been. I mean, S-A-N, thank you. You know, he has been pressuring the, the son, that's fast, that, bros, it's time for you to get married. Just the way I'm pressuring someone that is sitting at my front. I'm not pressuring him anyways, I'm just reminding no, him, giving dad, him my dad a soft to remind him. And I, yeah. did, I did pick his call yesterday because I knew he wanted to say something. Now, these yeah. days, I found out that it is men that are not telling their sons to get married. No longer mothers. There is now more of the men. He actually said that though it, it used to be the father and the mother. They used to tell him, Chairman, get married. Get married. But he said that right now, it is the father who has been a bone in his neck. But, but you cannot swallow him, you cannot vomit him. Go and get married. Now when he says, good morning, sir. And the father's response is, the money will be good when you introduce your wife. <laughs> <laughs> no, Orale is laughing like because he can relate. <laughs> Someone is also saying, but, hey, but so. my, my dad's own is a bit subtle. Um, he's not he's not being um, a, a nosy ass <laughs> on that one. He just says you should. Say you just said what they just told me. Don't you think I deserve grandkids? <laughs> I just bust. <laughs> up. <laughs> I just bust up said you're okay now you're doing good you're doing great you have what it takes to do that why don't you just find one a good woman who loves god and who loves you and and then someone who is at least working yeah and yes because uh, there was a time my uncle told me and he said see make sure you don't marry a woman who doesn't have a job a woman who has gone to school was read who can actually work is not housewife mm. a woman who works that will support you nigeria has become one of that thing. it's not like the days of our fathers so i said yes so we'll try our best i think that's the same problem Faust is going e right. yes and both of you are having similar problem being a celebrity makes it difficult for according to Faust, that being a celebrity celebrity has made it difficult for him to find the right person i was about to say that and i know that's one of the reasons the person sitting beside be, <laughs> Before behind, me. <laughs> behind you, behind you, you know, I mean, that same issue, <laughs> you know. So it's better. So he feels that okay, I that he is straight, of course, he's straight, he's a, he's a man, he loves women. Hopefully. But so it's not because he has not brought a lady home, does not mean he's into me. No, 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 he's not like that. That when the time comes, he will get married. But right now, managing fame. And relationship that is kind of difficult to find a woman who love him for, for who he is that is where the, the the challenge is so he is saying that the last time he went into a serious relationship mm, was back uh, in the university but right now he is a single a singular so ladies should please um, I think if Faust is going to get married he should look around him or go back to the fact that he has friends from childhood yeah which one he is known for the longest which one he can accommodate now um I, i've learned something in a relationship being with a woman is really hard your wife or your girlfriend will tell you to shut up your mouth Be funker. you that your younger sister or friends can never tell you to shut up mm. she will look at you and say orally i say shut up <laughs> are you <laughs> 
and you will be able to do anything yeah, about it. it. You know, sometimes after you ladies and you women say all these things, when you guys sleep and women just look at you while you're sleeping so peacefully. You know, fit. What was. <laughs> You can't. You guys are so annoying. Yeah, but you can't do it without us. Yes, but it's annoying. So he needs to go back there. Loud employees that you cannot do without us. He needs to go. I can't do it without you. <laughs> he needs to go out there and look for someone. He obviously, once he checks back, he will see someone from when he was growing up who likes him, who's always had a crush on him. Or he should come down and check. Someone like William Zuchimba. He got married yeah. through Facebook. The lady reached out to him and said, God said, you are my husband. As in, she didn't joke about it. God said, you are my husband. She went for him. And this was someone who is not in Nigeria. She's, she's a nurse, working, making good money for herself. So Williams indulged her. And today, yeah, okay. they are married. So check somewhere along the line, not all these random DMs. There's mm. someone there who loves you for you, not even your money. And most of the time, these people are actually doing good or better in life. Yeah. So every woman compliments a man. That's exactly what it is. It's not easy being in a being a public figure. All right, next story. I'm still upcoming, Don Jazzy. <laughs> I, I I don't believe Don Jazzy. Ah, Don Jazzy, <laughs> Don Jazzy, <laughs> Baba. Oh, ah, why now? Why are you like this? CEO Maven Record, um, Maven Records actually Don Jazzy. They call him Don Baba J. He's been doing this for close to twenty years or more. more and um he's all the accolades let's let's just give it to him now he says he's still upcoming now he can never be upcoming never mm -hmm. even if it's in the producing business no he can't be upcoming he has produced hits upon his ah. and he's still doing that now um you know that don jazz did produce if not the whole tracks on Corey de bellows new album so yeah. and that album a lot of nigerians are sleeping on it there's a track there that i love most beautiful girl on the planet it's one of the most sweetest rb songs of 2024 you're so like women but continue people, people should people should listen to that song and enjoy it now if you look at how the matter is done jazzy has been doing so well so maybe he wants to start venturing into music as a solo artist Maybe that's why he wants to call himself a comedian. No, no, even, no, at, no. even at that, no. the nah. judges are still my, my ah. darling. Ah, yes, exactly. There are so many don't, songs. I have done so many songs. Okay, um, um, how are you, my friend? Yeah. He, he collabed with um, 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 what's his name again? Johnny Drill. You can see how beautiful that came out. Don Jazzy, what is your problem? Is it not someone, uh, one, 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 one uh, Gen Z that went to say, Baba, it would be nice if you organize a concert of OGs. Are you, you uh, P Square, The Band, When The Co, Ice Prince, and the rest. If you have a, a concert of the OGs, it would be nice. That was, uh, you know, Don Jazzy, sometimes you have your time. Please. Yeah, exactly. If you have your time. And he said, Ah, you're on your own. I'm still upcoming. <laughs> Don Jazzy. That, Don that's Jazzy. To, oh, to, uh -huh. to, to, to create any rumors that you want to start. So that before <laughs> people start saying, let's really. Nigerians know how to take zero. Exactly. Real quick. Yeah. So. No, I am one of Don Jazzy's biggest fans. I, think, I love I think him. I'll always be. I love his work. I love his craft. I, lo I love him for who he is. Honestly, I love what Do he does. You like his spec of men? All right, moving on. Well, maybe we are not moving anywhere. <laughs> what is your spec for men? I do. I really have. Or maybe you have. Okay, first thing I look out for, I'm and I'm sapiosexual. You must be very intelligent. Mm -hmm. That is, if at once you have that first, if you are intelligent, I, I can just die for you. Then body, then, body wise, body wise, you know, honestly, on honesty or really, I've never. I don't think I've ever. Uh, thought of okay, this person must be like this. I don't like them big, extremely big. Uh -uh, no, do you like fair? I am not uh, color person, I am not like that. I mean, but it happens, it happens that the people that have ever come my way, I'm always at their shoulder level. Okay, so they must be they are always, person. they are. It's not like okay, this is my kind of man, no, but they are always. Is that just? It's just nature. 
but the most important part what i look for in a man what i look for in a man he must be intelligent i cannot run out of ideas and you are telling me it is well what is well <laughs> <laughs> give me ideas help me think you are telling me it is well though don't worry what is done don't worry so okay this thing i i got stuck at this point so okay what if you try it like this what if when i'm emotionally down or morale low okay you should be able to talk me up that is me not you are telling me don't worry don't worry oh you are trying you'll be doing something wrong you are trying to use gifts to blind me ah i took get sense first down so when when someone wrongs you like your man wrongs you and he give you gifts it doesn't no we're gonna talk about it don't try to use gifts to block it kind of human being on. yeah it, it has happened to me already i let the i let, made him understand that you see all those things you are doing they are fake let's let's face it well, so that's, that's that's good after you faced it uh -huh. you then i will not decide whether i'll take the gift or not i have rejected gifts i mean it i'm not this is a that's national good. television i have rejected and he was like okay so because i'm buying you i said don't buy anything i don't need it they are material things already they will grow old sure that's my that's where i see that's i see things from but you see you see this thing i need it we need to think i come here and you'll be telling me it is well what is well maybe <laughs> the next story maybe <laughs> like just daniela escapes kidnapping attempt so some was it the, this last week there about she actually ordered a ride hmm. and the driver started behaving funny and she told the uh, driver please stop this man doesn't want to stop he was still moving madame jumped out of the moving vehicle you understand so she had to call the police she had to call she, oh no not call the police she actually uh, posted uh, the incident and tagged the uh, necessary uh, law enforcement agencies and all that and they actually according to her that if they came to her rescue they handled the issues she was taken to the hospital treated and of course she came back to tell uh, to say thank you to people who actually responded you know people started calling her her fans started reaching out to her hope you're fine hope you're this and she came out to say thank you that i'm fine now so this really got me when i was going through the story you understand we feel that yes this uh, private a uh, cab should actually be safe because we want to meet up with something you remember last week Thursday now I, I was in, here in the office and all that that is the excess i just want to be comfortable so why should that not be a death trap when so people now ha, has taking this whole business now everybody will decide to be jumping mullet be jumping red buses be taking bra to be taking whatever means of transportation there was the excess of having all this private uh, cab that can take you to where you're going orally does not like taking public vehicles so this story is very important to <laughs> orally why are you looking at me there's no cab guy that cannot beat <laughs> So you will fight I'm a, the, I'm a green belt judoka. I, you will, I fight will beat the, the not fight. Guy. I will beat him. <laughs> I know the joke. I will beat you want what do you want to do? It's just like a friend of mine that had bruises all over her body mm. taking um um this e taxi. I don't want to call the name. Mm -hmm, yeah. So it doesn't um transcend to defamation, but that is what happened. And then the guy pushed her out of the car wearing a seat belt so ah. imagine the car on motion and scraping her body on the cold tar she's lucky to be alive and she's fed so imagine the kind of oh, wow. if it's someone like me and you now any yes, injury we have can look up. but it was terrible this is a very beautiful lady somewhere in a jar so you see you see how did how i i get pissed off at the other day mm -hmm. i was in um one of the rides and i told him could you just wait let me get food real quick because i'm starving and i have to take my drugs he said okay i bought the food i got in the car and it was like um 1 p.m ish so we're driving and he just wound down the car i said oh god father i'm sweating do you mind turn the air conditioning yes. back on this like the food is disturbing his nose 
Mm. I say, rice and stew with plantain is disturbing your nose. Why didn't you tell me to get for you? Say, no, it's disturbing him that I have to do this, that. Ah, no, I said, but when I asked you, if I could get the food, if you didn't want me to eat in the car, yeah. you should have just said, please, sir, do you mind not eating in the car until we get to where you're, you're going, going to? Or, sorry, I can't take you. Can you please cancel the ride? I would have. And then I start eating. If you say I was sweating, and then Kama caught up with him. He was asking me what routes to pass. I didn't say anything. Then he now took um, the catcher toll gate. And when we got there, he said, oh, God, now you they pay. I just looked at him. I didn't answer him. He said, please, we'll, they'll have to turn us back because if I don't give them cash, I said, I will deduct it from your money. Yeah. He said, ah, you will not deduct. I just carried the money gave because I knew what I wanted to do. So I gave the the attendant at the toll gate. When we got to my street, I came down. I opened this door. When I jacked him, you know, sometimes when they look at you, they will think you're a jabota. When... I jacked him and called when some boys on my street dance. Ah, Baba, wait till they saw. I had to beg for him before leaving. That's to show you the kind of human beings. That he insulted me from. I kept eating the food. I didn't answer. I don't know why I didn't answer him. He insulted me from toll gates to go on estate. That's how. That's how crazy that man was. There's nothing. He did. And normally I would reply him, but I just said. Mm. What I want to do to you today is in my, my mind. mind. So, guys, um, when you get in an e cab or e taxi, mm. first thing you do is take the plate number, mm -hmm. the number of the person, and there's usually some. If you're taking the one that starts with B, um, the e taxi that starts with B, it will write, Are you taking this for yourself or for another person? Yeah. So, you click the button that says, um, you're taking it not for yourself for another person and it, it moves your information the information of the rider everything to somebody else you're supposed to maybe okay. if i'm taking it, it okay. moves it to maybe or maybe it has all, all the details. details and everything and then make sure that you sit directly behind the driver where yeah, you can slap him <laughs> this one is i'm just giving you second oh, oh so my. if he's driving somehow that you do not like and he's being crazy you can hold his neck yeah. from he's forced to press the brake and then you can open the door and exit i just gave you security tips yeah it's for fighters don't worry you, yourself, you, 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 see your life. you see why i like him he will give you all the necessary information you need to know we'll go on this quick break and when we we'll come back we'll come we're coming with a movie review stay with us we'll be right back yeah welcome back this is the whatsapp on galaxy television and you know who we're just talking about the movie yeah is it a movie no it's actually a drama series yes so that was the trailer that you just watched the trailer of the wheels it's a drama series that is coming to your to your screen very 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 soon do you have the synopsis yes let's just give you a quick review yeah. um synopsis of what this movie is all about now um the essence of whatsapp on galaxy television is not just to put um relatable movies that mm -hmm. people have watched all right now we can give or we give upcomers or upcoming producers um, an opportunity yes we just give them necessary pr for them to promote the kind of movies um they do have now this one is it's new on the block so um we'll start here just recently graduated from secondary school and trying to fit in to the fast paced world he lives in questioning the reason for his entire existence one day terry um discovers a group of skaters um you know who skaters are those guys that um, right on all those skateboards and they do that you see them in parks and all those places outside the local mall his interest is immediately triggered and then he decides to be part of something he finally believes in hoping he may find fulfillment but it all becomes a ride of a lifetime with no brakes for the wheels abe on the other hand is a middle-aged editor at a local station he is overqualified and yet underpaid for his current position at the office but he chooses to stay hoping for a promotion and fear of starting all over mm. things do take a drastic turn when he has to make a decision between keeping one of his friends who's been squatting with him 
and his girlfriend but there's more to tough decision making for him as things begin to close in abby makes a stand that changes everything around him now the question is does abby side with his friend who is squatting mm -hmm. or the girlfriend um, see sometimes it's, it's really hard to make this decision especially when yeah. the woman comes and says choose between me and this your friend my brother it's, it's, it's not easy it's not an easy decision but we, <laughs> as a man you know the decision you don't have to manage it except that friend has been with you from the start through all the pains mm -hmm. all the trials and temptations and if that's the reason then the girlfriend should she should chip yes i love the suspense in this uh, series they didn't let the cat out of the bag or the bag out of the cat oh yeah you know that's how we say it here we don't just so, say only one one way you know so i love it now it is for young people a whole lot of young people is going to love this movie because it's it's got to do with it's not the regular music not the regular acting it's all about skating i love skating though i don't know how i can't jump on a skateboard but it is something that you should go out and watch and of course there are so many new faces in that series they are young actors young young actors and they delivered well beautiful sound beautiful color of course the movie was set in lagos and it was it was produced and directed by michael a abiazi i hope i pronounced that name very well or at least you should know how to pronounce that so it is something you should go out and watch it is a fun field movie yes it is. yes and i love the courage of the producer because he's doing something orally ah this place is going to go far so just go to the cinema or wait just look forward to watching this movie because there was something you said while we were talking about the synopsis do not be afraid to fail even in the trailer it was clearly stated don't be afraid to fail when you fall you rise again i think that's the most important part of it so even if you fail it's not the end of it dust yourself get up and dust yourself and continue the journey yeah that's all we can take on this movie review on comeback more celebrity just stay with us If I someone just called me a funny name, yeah, that's why we are laughing. I know the name that was called. Orally, orally. If I. I'll not say it. <laughs> you're welcome back. This is so awesome on Galaxy Television. <clears throat> if you're just joining us, you've missed the first part of Celebrity Jest. You've also missed a movie review, but this is the last part. Don't miss it. Set your alarm if need be and watch us live on Galazi Television 10 to 11 a.m. Don't waste that one hour doing nothing. Just laugh. It's a program for you to laugh and learn. You understand? Every 10 a.m. to 11 a.m., myself and Aurelie are here to put smiles so that you for the rest of your day you will be smiling all through for the rest of the day so you should make yourself happy all right the last part of celebrity gist oh really what's i up? met my husband after worst heartbreak hmm. sharon oja now i'm going to officially add sharon oja to the list of people who cannot do wrong in my eyes okay there's obio oh one there's tiwa savage yeah and um who else who else can do wrong in my eyes oh i think there's there's genevieve unaji too okay and now the sharon oja i love everything about this beautiful woman since i watched her on glamour girls okay. did i say she's a church gay did, have you watched glamour girls of course that's acting that's not who she is that's not who she is that's acting hey, sharon. i understand acting let me tell you why i love sharon she has my sister's name so anybody that has that name, just like having my mom's name. If you have my, I don't care if you're a dev. You love the person. I will love the person. So that's it. So Sharon, um, you see, this is a testament to the, the term after sorrow lasts for the night. Yeah, joy, comes, joy comes in the morning. In the morning. Mm, this, okay. is, this is exactly what it means. Let me tell you, Sharon had the worst heartbreak. Um, there was a time she almost felt depressed about it. Now, a whole lot of people that 
good friends will always come <laughs> through for you. Yeah. But the truth is, she went through a lot. And, you know, um, when you tell yourself, this relationship almost killed me, this relationship did this, especially if you're someone who loves from the heart. Now, a lot of people, especially this Gen Z generation, they've thrown everything away that concerns love. You know, consign them again. Nobody wants to be in a relationship for love. It's for what they can get in return. A lot of people are, especially Gen Z. That's why, um, if you look, I, I think I had something at the back of my mind before I came to the studio. I just can't remember it. And that's what hurts me the most now. People now enter relationships not because of what they can do in the relationship as regards love. They only enter because of what they can get now love is no longer on the table it is your ability to do something for me and my ability to receive it it goes both ways men and women and that's why you have so many failed gen z marriages so when you now see marriages that i saw some people drilling over sharon and jasmine oh my god i want to get married now i want god to god way can a man tell you to sit here and not go for a wedding and you will calm down and sit down even if you will cry can you do it oh but you know if you tell me say me can you go wedding no my darling i this one i don't go and finish you see you cannot and can your wife tell you because those things have saved men times without number a woman will tell your wife will tell you babe i don't think you should hang out with your friends this night or for some reason she starts to gun body she starts jumping on you playing with you baby don't go don't go out now you you get angry or you just okay let me stay with you and then where you go where you were supposed to go you're not here i'm robbers went there to rob or your friends were coming back from where they went to drink and they had accident that's your wife annoying annoying wife jumping up and down on top of you has saved your life god used her to save your life but you don't know because you don't want to listen you cannot be in your mind if you cannot listen to your partner like your partner say I don't want you to wear this black gown mm. today. Can you calm down and say, mm -mm. let me just listen. So what do you want me to wear? I think mm -hmm. I like this blue better on you now. Someone can come out there and look at this blue and say, I think you make, you, can, you model well for this yeah. outfit. Yeah. Some of you don't know why they say that, but stubbornness is always decided. So Sharon <laughs> had the worst heartbreak, but from the worst heartbreak, she Good has body. one of the best weddings of 2024. Yeah, big congratulations to her. So, 2024, the next story. 2024, U.S. presidential debate, worst ever. That's David, though. Like Aurelie said, I would have left the story for him, but I just want to take it briefly. No, not take David, though. Know. <laughs> I take it all the time, so take it. Before. Yeah, I am also a fan of his. But he is saying that the, the debate that happened... Uh, the last debate that happened in the US, you know, of course, he's a Democrat. David is also a Democrat, of course. He is saying that this is the worst debate. That, in fact, these two people came for themselves. And this is between, of course, the former president of the United States, Trump, and the current president, Joe Biden. They had a debate, and, you know, they were, this one was coming for this one. And he felt, oh my God, this is the worst debate. You know what came to my mind orally? Uh, David is complaining that this is the worst debate because they came for themselves. In your own Nigeria, mm -hmm. was there a debate? <laughs> <laughs> was there a debate? Obio, come and answer this question. <laughs> there was no debate. So those of them who had a debate and they came for themselves. Yeah, no debate. And we are seeing where we are. Let's move on to the next story, Obio. <laughs> Tell us something better. We are waiting for it. For what sweet song from you? Forget these people. All right. All right, the last story there. Yes, Imo Airport. Actor Ejike Ashebo apologizes over video attacking Uzodema. Now, um, I personally do not and will not like hope Uzodema for anything he does. Mm -hmm. But when you see someone <laughs> trying his best to do good, you have to give them accolades. I know how he got into power. Of course, I'm from yeah. Imo State, in case you do not know. And um, yes. After EGK has a book, now if you look at certain things that's happened in Imo states, Rochas Okorocha has he's, he ruined Imo states. Mm. But finally, we get to say, God, he's trying to revitalize and make things work. So, um, EGK has a book, obviously, from Imo states, was very angry. He did a video a couple of times ago to 
tell hope that he is not hopeful. He's been doing things anyhow, but he was at the Imo State International Airport, which is obviously close to my village. So once you come from the airport, you just pass my village by the right. And the airport is looking good, the airport is looking good as well. So yes, that's all we have for this one. Yeah. He has apologized and I think they're good now, which is the most important thing. Yeah, thank you for staying with us. Oh my God, how time flies when you have fun or a leave. It's time to go home. Yes, drink water, remind the business that concerns you. Do not turn off someone else's light bulb because you want yours to shine the brightest. Every day above six feet is a good day. Follow me on Instagram at official underscore orally. That's A-U-R-A-L-W-E. And on Twitter, it's at Karel Wayne, K-E-R-E-L. W-A-Y-N-E See you tomorrow. Peace. Yeah, thank you all your viewers for being with us and a very big thank you to the team, the crew. We appreciate everything. Well, Danny, for that, <laughs> you'll not get it back. <laughs> Mr. Karade, thank you. John C., we appreciate everything that you're doing. Emmanuel Abiado, you know how much we love you from here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And to the social media team, Twitch, I'll come for you. Ayo, we didn't see you. Okay. Well, we are all good. Yeah, thank you so much for staying with us. Tomorrow, 10 a.m., we'll be here again, live and direct. We'll be here to give you the premium entertainment from WhatsApp. And coming up next is waiting to have a Ninja with the Sabi boys. Of oh, course, yeah. they are seated, ready to crack you up because those guys, they do like not guessing sometimes. <laughs> but they are head full with wisdom. Well, well. Yes. My name is Omevi Dollar across all social media platforms. Omevi is O M E V I Dollar is ID. O L O R. I will be here tomorrow by God's grace. And remember that from WhatsApp, we love you, but you should love yourself more.